Hey everybody, Luchi here. Um, just a quick update. Seems like the meds are working more. Um, I'm on my third round of antibiotics. Been sick with this sinus infection for like three weeks. Um, let's cross our fingers and pray that it works. Um, life is good. Just doing some goals, meeting some goals. Um, once I get better, I'm, I'm gonna be unstoppable. <laughs> oh, and today I, I was I was driving and I was like, oh my goodness, I just realized I am single. It just feels natural. Like I'm just like, you know, you get there's stages of like, I guess when you're single like long enough, you're like, oh yeah, that. It just feels like a part of you. <laughs> that's how it feels like to me um I wrote somewhere um where is it I wrote something about oh man my, one of my notebooks I've been single about a year <laughs> So it says, been single for about a year. Longest I've been single since my college days. Usually I'm like, I just go out there and get myself out there. This time, um, no. I've had a couple chances, but I'm like, no. Um, yeah, one of my friends told me, it's like, oh, because you're over 30. I'm like, the cats have look hot. I'm like, <laughs> but whatever. No, guys, I'm 23. <laughs> no, I'm 33. But my coworker thought that I was one of the fifth graders. <laughs> and then one of my students today, I was like on my knees helping another student because we switched for reading groups. And he's like, oh my gosh, I thought you were one of the students. I'm like, I, thank you. Thought, that's a compliment to me. <laughs> but, but yeah. But anyway. Longest I've been single since my college days. And it just feels right. <laughs> I, I'd rather be with the right person than with the wrong person. You know what I mean? I don't know. Who was I telling? I was telling somebody I'm being picky because eventually I like to be with someone for long, the long haul. I'm just like, whatever. Like, Maybe it could be where you don't like say you're a couple for like six months. I did that once. Um, where I did that once. <laughs> um, where but we were actually like dating. That was in. I all wrote it down in my like one of my journals. Two thousand fourteen. Yeah, cause I had gotten out of a relationship and I wanted to take it slow with this guy, so we took it slow. He thought I was his girlfriend, and I felt like a dick when he's like, "Yeah, I thought we were <laughs> together." I'm like, "Oops." <laughs> well, I didn't know. <laughs> he didn't seem serious about me. I didn't know I was his girlfriend. <laughs> Oh, my doggy's barking. But yeah. But it just feels right being single. Um, I'm mostly focusing on my career, like my teaching job, um, my side gigs I'm working on. Um, I have an event coming up, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, nervous, I get stressed. Um, once I get better for sure, we'll go start getting more active again, get back, you know, get out there, go dancing more, walking more like I used to, going to work out. I just haven't done that because I've just been sick. I know what it's feel like, you can still go when you're sick. I know. <laughs> when you feel better, oops. <laughs> but I don't know, I just prefer to go on walks and um, dance for exercise. And... I used to have an LA Fitness account a long time ago, and I would go like two times a week, and I got rid of that because I was 
dancing and walking and like doing all the dance at home like I was doing that for at least five hours a week so I was like what whatever and so I canceled my membership but I do want to go to the like gym consistently get into that mindset or get back into dance that'd be fine man I'd miss dancing like I used to be in a student group for belly dance and I was getting so good and then I quit I lost so much money being in student troupe, belly dance class, getting belly dance privates, and I was practicing every day, even if it was just like 10 minutes a day. And um, I stopped COVID. I, before I was like kind of stuck in a rut and even talked to my teacher. Then COVID happened and I was like, kind of, it's not the same because it feels different when you're not dancing with other people. Even though it's a, a solo dance, you just it's fun game with other people. But yeah, um, thinking about that too. I just have, have so much life goals. I want to start reading again more. Start with like one book a month because I don't read it like I used to. Like after ma my master's and, and undergrad, mostly master my master's program, or was it undergrad? I can't remember. <laughs> I'm old, but um. I didn't want to read anymore. I was like, heck no. Because I remember my undergrad days, I would like read non, like fiction books. And then later I thought fiction, nonfiction was the, was the way to go. And then fiction, I didn't like reading fiction. It was really, really good because it was a waste of my time. Like I'm not learning anything. But yeah. I probably, and I was, oh yeah, I told myself that I was going to start reading fiction again. And reading one fiction book a month and then one nonfiction book a month. That was the go two books that's the go two books a month i wonder maybe i could just like even audio books can count but anyway well, it's a little bit of a life update um hope you guys have a great holiday or time december um but yeah i hate what, when people are like oh it's gonna be a year <laughs> I usually like what start goals right away. So once I'm like, um, so once I'm better, I'm gonna start my goals right away. I mean, I'm already feeling better. Um, Cause I don't, I don't know, New Year's Eve to goals, whatever. New Year's goals to me don't make sense. It's like you have to make goals constantly and start them right away. Um, another thing I want to do is <laughs> stop procrastinating. I've been procrastinating way too much. I mean, I procrastinated before, but not like this. I'm like, oh God, I need to fix that. So that's another goal of mine. But yeah, happy day.